Jessie loves to read. In fact, she always has her nose in a book. Jessie's grandmother gave her $25 for her birthday, and Jessie wants to buy a bunch of books at the bookstore. Jessie doesn't have any more money than what her grandmother gave her. How many books can Jessie buy if her favorite book costs $3.99? Jessie really loves these mystery books, and they are $3.99 apiece. She has $25 to spend and no more. How many books can Jessie buy? Do you have an idea how to figure this out? Let's think about it. First, we know that Jessie's been given $25 and that the books she want cost three ninety nine. We don't know how many she can buy. That's our variable, x, which would be equal to the number of books. We know that Jessie has $25 to spend and that she can't spend more than $25. Now, in a previous concept, you learned how to write an equation. We could write an equation here. We could say $3.99, $3.99, times the number of books equals $25. Except, we, Jessie knows she can't spend more than $25. She needs to spend less than that because she only has $25. So, in this case, an equation isn't the best way to describe the situation. We need to use an inequality. You've seen inequalities before. Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. We can use less than or less than or equal to to describe Jesse's situation. Our next step in working through this problem is to take this equation and rewrite it using an inequality. Let's take a look. We have $3.99 times x is less than or equal to $25. Now because $3.99 is an odd number to work with, we can actually round up the penny and we can say 4x is less than or equal to 25. Now we can solve this inequality just like we would an equation. Divide both sides by 4 so we can get x alone and x is less than or equal to 4 goes into 25 6 times 0.25. So Jessie can buy 6 books with her $25 if she buys more than six books, she'll go over the $25. Six books is the number of books that Jessie can buy with her birthday money.